Right, next video then. This is ones I have in the cupboard. I've had to get these out of the cupboard because I'm not going to be able to do this lot in there because it's very awkward at the top. So I can't really show you the cupboard until I get at least halfway through because of the way I've got them in there. But um, I said I was going to do some more videos on, on horrors and here we go then. So first up is the remake of the 2001 Maniacs. Which is okay. So a lot of these are mainstream horrors as well. There are some obscure ones in there, but there's a lot of mainstream ones. So uh, Rob Zombie's Thirty One. Not too bad. That's the U.S. Uh, DVD. I picked that up when I was over there before it came out over here. Thirty Days of Night, Vampire One. Not too bad. I quite like that one. Next, another Rob Zombie one. This is this is probably one of his latest ones. This is the Blu-ray release from Free From Hell, which is the, the sequel to uh, Devil's Rejects. Nowhere near as good as Devil's Rejects, but it's not a bad title. And obviously that's the, the Blu-ray for that particular one. Getting quite old now on some of these. 28 Days Later. And if you know your movies, you'll know how old that one is. That's the, like the virus one when that guy wakes up. You got the sequel, which is 28 weeks later. Same thing, same kind of story, which is not too bad. I've got a load of older ones put in with these as well because I've had to change my cupboard. I used to have like a hammer horror section and they are now all in amongst these sort of, sort of things as well as other ones like this Vincent Price one. This is the Abom Abominable Dr. Fives. I do have the other one as well but I've got them in alphabetical order so I've got to keep them away from each other which is a bit of a shame but otherwise it don't look so good. After a shock, I can't really remember it very well, so I ain't got an awful lot to say about that one. Next one is like a, I think this was like a remake of, of another one, All Cheer, Cheerleaders Must Die. I can't think which one, it's, it, like, I can't think what it's a remake of, but um, it's okay, it's not too bad. All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, Amber Heard. It's not too bad. I didn't mind that one. It's an okay title. As you can see, I don't have so many Blu-rays on this particular section. Alligator. One and two. On the Anchor Bay UK one. I mean, I don't remember the second one. The first one's really good. That came out back in the day. So uh, I got this one for Alligator. But I can't remember the second one. But it's pretty good for one of those type of movies next one is um, American Mary which is okay very strange movie this one but it's an okay title next one is um, American Psycho with Christian Bell everybody knows that one yeah, I should do it's not too bad Quite popular when it came out. I remember seeing it on the big screen. It's okay. I can't say it was fantastic as what some people said. American Werewolf in London. I didn't get. I had this wonder. I didn't pick this up on Blue actually because it's available on Blu-ray now. I think Arrow put it out. And it's a wonder I haven't upgraded. But probably the best werewolf movie out there, especially for the transformation scene. That's, uh, I think this is the US one, yeah it is, that's the US uh, collector's one, but obviously it is on Blu-ray now, so you can pick that up on Blue. Next is Amityville 2, The Possession, I don't have the Amityville Horror or the remake, I just got this particular one, Amityville 2, which is okay. Next is um, Anaconda. Sort of like a creature feature horror, like alligator, except it's the big, it's a big snake. Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez. 
I think this is coming out on blue racing. I think it might be 88's putting this out on blue. So uh, that might be one I might upgrade. I didn't mind that particular one. Next is um, 80's like Slasher, if you can call it that, which is April Fool's Day. It's an okay title, keeps you guessing to the end, and then you realise that nobody's actually really been killed in the movie. But it's quite a fun movie. That's April Fool's Day. Next is like the remake of April Fool's Day. This is the US uh, unrated version. I don't know if it was cut over here or not. I've never seen the UK one, so I don't know. I picked that when I was in the States once. I picked that up without seeing it. But it's okay. Next is um, Army of Darkness, which is Evil Dead Free. Okay, I'm not a massive fan of Evil Deads. I didn't mind the first one, but the third one, I only bought it because I had the first three. But it's okay. Next is uh, Bear Behind Bars. This is the Arrow one. Which unfortunately is cut. I had been meaning to pick up the US one because it's unrated. But I haven't yet. Sleazy women prison one, as most of these type of movies are. But unfortunately, this one is cut. I can't remember by how long. So it's one I will um, upgrade eventually. Next is uh, Battle Royale, which is okay. This is on the Arrow Drone UK label. Not too bad. Japanese film. Next is um, Battle Royale 2 Requiem. Exactly the same type of thing. Probably not as good as the first one. But it's okay. This is the UK one on the Tartan Extreme. Next is the Arrow uh, Bloodbath. This is like this is just the Arrow DVD on this one. I've got the Blu-ray as well, but I liked some of these DVDs because they had all those posters. They had the posters in there, and like all the different covers you could you could show. So I did keep a few of these ones like this and didn't sell them on because most of the ones I got on Blu-ray, I did sell the DVDs, but not these Arrow ones. They're worth keeping just for the uh, the posters. Next one up is an old one, Peter Cushing one from from the Amicus Studios, Beast Must Die, the werewolf one. That's okay. I'm a massive fan of Hammer anyway, and I've got virtually all the Hammer films, so I like the Hammer stuff. Next is another one of the um, Arrow uh, ones with all the covers, poster, and whatever else is still in there. This is uh, the Beyond, as you can see if you watch some of my other videos in the um, the Blu-ray one I had for this. I have it on blue, so, but like I said, these are well worth keeping just to have all those covers and the poster. Lucio Forci's Beyond, well worth having. Next is Beyond Reanimator. The third one in the Reanimator movies wasn't as good as the first or second one by a mile, but same guy, but it's okay. That's the US DVD. Next, BTK, which is Bind, Torture, Kill. Cannot remember it whatsoever, so can't say an awful lot about that one. Next up is the um, is Dario Argento's. The bird with crystal plumage. Not too bad. This is the Arrow um, Blu-ray release. Could have had this in the other section, see, but I don't have room, so I'd like to put this one in with the other ones. But is it, that's an okay title. Next up is um, Black Christmas. Good one, this. I do like Black Christmas. This is the original version. Quite old now, 70s one. But it's well, it's a really good movie. I think it's a Canadian movie, if I remember rightly. I think it's John Saxon in that, in it. But it's pretty good. Black Christmas. 
And next up is the is the remake of Black Christmas. Um, I can't really remember the remake because I've only watched it once, but um, it's okay. That's just the UK DVD. Next up is another sort of creature feature, but in the, like a crocodile one again or an alligator, which is Black Water. Next up is Blade. Everybody knows Blade. That's the first one, the original one, the UK one, which is okay. Next up, we got Blade 2. Same again, Wesley Snipes. That's the US one. Next, Blade 3, which is basically Blade Trinity. The US one, as you can see by the unrated version across the front. Not too bad. Next up is the remake of The Blob, which is uh, excellent. Always been a fan of the remake of The Blob. This is the US DVD, still no UK release for some unknown reason. I think it's out now on US Blu-ray as well. I'm kind of hoping the, it will come out on UK eventually. But that's The Blob, well worth having. Next up is one of those uh, horror packs from the US. With six horrors on. And I bought this before Blood Diner was out. So I bought this, only bought that for Blood Diner. Because it's the unrated one on there. I didn't buy it for the other. As in course, what happened? I bought it for that. And it came out on British Blu-ray not so long after. Never mind. Next up, Blood Last Vampire. I cannot remember this one very much. I know it's like a... Girl with samurai swords um, after vampires, if I remember rightly. I can't say too much because I don't, I can't remember. Next is Blood Beach, the one with the creature underneath the sand. It pulls you down through the stand. Still not a good release of this one. Always hoping they'd release get a nice Blu ray of this, but nobody ever seems to. But that's Blood Beach. Next. Is uh, another old one, Peter Cushion one, uh, Blood Beast Terror, which is okay, not a bad one. Next up is the uh, UK Blu ray Arrow release for Bride of Reanimator. As you can see, it's still got the big sticker on the front yet. Yeah. I haven't took it off now, but I should imagine that's pretty good quality. I sewed my uh, DVD and bought the Blu ray of that. So, I should imagine that's pretty good. Next up is another old one, Jess Franco one, with Christopher Lee, the bloody judge, the Spanish Inquisition torture thing. Probably, um, I was trying to think of another one that's very similar to this, but I cannot think of what it's called. Next is uh, Body Double. Brian De Palma movie, pretty good that one. I do like Body Double. It's just the US one, but this is out on now. I think this is on a UK Blu-ray now. So next up is Brightburn, which is the US uh, DVD version. The uh, UK version is cut. They've cut a couple of the gorier scenes out, so I avoided that one and picked up the uh, US one, which is pretty good actually. Some quite good scenes in that, as Brightburn. Next is uh, Buried Alive. I have no idea, I cannot remember it. So Next is The Burning. I showed you my other one when I did the thir 39. This is just the US Blu-ray, which I had first before Arrow released it. Great cover on that, as they seem to be on the um, Screen Factory ones. I didn't sell it because I'm always a massive fan of The Burning. So um, that's the burning, great cover. Next is um, got another old one, Oliver Reed one. So that shows you how old it is. This is burnt offerings. Not too bad. That's the US one. It's out now on on UK as well. So um, easy to pick up. Next is cabin fever. That's the Blu-ray, not too bad, Eloy Ralph movie, pretty good. Next is Candyman, 
Everybody knows Candyman. Say his name five times and he's supposed to show his face. Yes, this has been released on Arrow now, on a Blu-ray, so it might be one I might upgrade. Cannibal Holocaust. I showed you my Blu-ray edition of this when I had the Didma 39. This is just the uh, EC uncut version on DVD, which I had first, which I decided to keep. Next is another OD Hammer one, Captain Kronos, which is good. Another one I cannot remember called Captivity. Next one is Carrie. This is the proper, the old version with Sissy Spacek and John Travolta. Great movie. I remember seeing that on a big screen as well back in the day. That's a good movie. Then you've got the Carrie remake with Chloe uh, Moretz from Kickass. Not too bad. I think the, the actual remake did get slated quite a bit, but I actually enjoyed it. The next is The Cave. I can't remember The Cave. So I can't say an awful lot about that one. Next up is um, Cherry Falls Slasher. Not too bad. Some guy hacking up people. I can't remember the story, but um, it's not too bad. Next is um, The Child. It's made the nasties, something made the 72 list, I think, if I remember rightly. To be honest with you, I can't even remember it, so I can't say an awful lot on that one. Next is The Children, which is okay. Next is Chrome Skull, which is good. I think there's two of these. I got both the Chrome Skull movies. The other one's under a different letter, so I'm sorry. I'll come across that one eventually, but he's good. Some good, some good gore in Chrome Skull. Chrome Skull, sorry. Next is the original Child's Play, which is okay. I don't have Child's Play two. Haven't picked it up yet. Uh, Child's Play three, which is pretty good as well. Bride of Chucky, not so good. Seed of Chucky, probably not as good. Curse of Chucky, wasn't too bad. These are all UK ones, by the way. Any of these Child's Play ones. Another one, Cult of Chucky. I think that was the latest one in the series. And obviously after that one, they did the remake. I haven't watched the remake yet. This is the UK Blue. I haven't watched it, so I cannot comment on that one at all. It's one I just haven't got range to watching. But I'm going to pretty quick, as quick as I can. That's Child's Play. Next is um, Christmas Evil, which is the part of the 88 Slasher. That's the Blu-ray for that one. Next is Christine, which is the UK Blu-ray. Good movie. John Carpenter one. That's the Blu-ray. Next is uh, Chud. Well, Cannibal Cannibal um, Humanoid Underground Dwellers, if I got that right, if I remember rightly. Still no UK release on that one. God knows why. But that's Chud. Next is, um, let's get these last few over. It's an OD one. Circus of Horrors, which is okay. Next is The Cottage. God knows, I can't remember what that one is. So we're going to skip that one. Next is uh, like a vampire one, Count Yorga and Return of Count Yorga, which I quite, I quite like those two. And last is the Crazies, which is, which is the old version of the Crazies and the remake of the Crazies. Both good and both worth having. So that's all I've got time for today. So that was the ones, some of the ones I have in the cupboard. I will continue at another time and see how quick I can get through them. It's going to be a while because I've got a hell of a lot in there. But um, cheers for watching and feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.